Hey guys, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In my last video, I showed you how to slow down your clips for nice and smooth slow motion. Today, I'm going to stick with the same topic and take a more in-depth look at retiming your clips. If you like these tutorials, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. I have a few drone clips imported into my timeline. Drone footage looks really good sped up, especially for long scenic flights. To speed up your entire clip, simply select it and press Command R. The retime bar shows up on top of your clip, where you can either click the drop down menu and select your speed, or click and drag the retime handles on the ends of your retime bar. Nice long straight stretches of flight can look really good when sped up, but takeoffs, landings and any other maneuvers can look unnatural. These parts have to be played back in real time, or even slow motion to look good. One option you have to achieve this is to blade your clip. I'll skim over my clip to the part where I reach my flying altitude, press B to select the blade tool, and click on my clip to blade it. I'll press A to go back to my select tool. My clip is now separated into two individual clips. I'll skim over to right before I turn, and this time, instead of selecting the blade tool to blade my clip, I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command B to blade it. Now I'll select my middle clip, press Command R to bring up the retime bar, and change my clip speed. Let's play it back and see how it looks. Much better, but sometimes you'll want your speed change to be not so abrupt. Final Cut Pro's blade speed effect works perfectly for this. It applies at least two different playback rates within a single clip, with a smooth ramp between the different playback rates. Let's try it out. I'll place my playhead right before my long straight flight, and from the speed drop down menu, choose blade speed. I'll do it again right before I turn, but this time, I'll use the keyboard shortcut shift B. Now I'll change the playback rate of the middle clip and review it. Using the speed blade effect, Final Cut Pro accelerates into and decelerates out of the second speed segment. This is what I refer to as a speed ramp, and is much more visually appealing than abrupt speed changes in most cases. These speed ramps are also adjustable. Just click and drag the edges of the speed transition to adjust the speed of your speed ramps. If you decide to use speed blade at the wrong frame, double click the junction between the two speed segments. A speed transition HUD pops up. Click the source frame added button and a film frame icon pops up above your clip. Click and drag the film frame icon until the viewer displays the frame at which you want your speed change to occur. Double click the source frame icon to close the editor. Using speed ramps for speed changes in your clips can be a very useful tool. It can be used for both speeding up and slowing down your clips. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said before, likes and shares mean a great deal to me and are a great incentive to make more videos. I've been trying to upload at least once a week, but I'm thinking about switching to twice a week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.